So in my previous video, I've shown you how to find the best graphics card for this motherboard, which is Gigabyte H61MDS2. And one of my viewers has asked me in the, here in the comments saying whether that motherboard supports this graphic card, which is from NVIDIA GTX 750Ti. So I'm going to show you how you can double check whether your motherboard and the graphics card are compatible irrespective of the company but I'll use this as an example so first you need to go to a website called PC part picker and then you need to click on system builder here you need to choose a motherboard by clicking on here and here in the search you need to type the name of the motherboard as soon as you search it brings up the name of your motherboard and then just select it once you select it in here it gives you some details of what motherboard it is and all you need to do is to here come and click add so we have added that in the list and now we need to find the graphics card which is also called video card so click on choose a video card in case of my viewer he was looking for 750 ti so it's just type that and you can see 750 Ti comes up. That means it is compatible. So there are different companies who manufacture this chipset. For the sake of this video, I would just select ASUS. But you can obviously check different versions of this. But the chipset is same and the memory is also the same. The core clock can be different as you can see. And the boost clock, the colors can be different and so forth. So let's select this one. It shows you here some pictures of it. Here you can quickly see how many ports it has. Display port, DVI port, HDMI ports. Or you can scroll down to the bottom in here. Get some more details about its specification. And then once you click on add in here. You can see this is added. This is also added. So we have added both the motherboard and the graphics card. And then you need to come up here and check compatibility. No issues or incompatibilities found. And estimated voltage. Just remember for these two items, it is 120 watts. So double check with your power supply and make sure it supplies enough wattage. Bear in mind, we have just added two items. For example, if you add CPU, it would consume more power. If you add hard disk, it's going to consume more power as well. So... But CPU and the graphics card are the most power consuming items in a computer. I hope this video was useful. If it was, please don't forget to watch my other videos on my left and to subscribe to support my channel. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.